My name is Benjamin Ginocchio and I'm the editor-in-chief of Artinfo.com, an art and auction magazine, and I'm at the 2013 Armory Fair. What I'd like to do now is take you into the show and introduce you to three gallerists with exciting booths. Max, this is an extraordinary booth. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about Rashid Newsom and why you chose to devote your entire booth here to one artist. This is a new uh, a booth of new work by Rashad Newsom. It's a, a combination of new gilded frameworks that have been produced specially for his first solo museum show that's going to happen at the museum in New Orleans in June. Here also we have a video on display that we're really excited about, which we have never shown before, and it is the product of a performance that he did at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. There's a real aesthetic of excess to Rashad's work. Can you tell us a little bit about that? How you found collectors respond to it? Is, does a particular collector go for this kind of work? The booth has been attracting a real um, variety of people so far. A lot of people gravitate to the works initially because of you know, their vibrant color palette and so forth. But what really brings them back is you know, the conceptual thread that's existent between all of the work from the performance to the video to the frames. I'm here at the booth of Tina Kim Gallery, Cook J, which is a New York and Seoul based gallery. Cook J is probably the most important gallery in Korea and Tina Kim is an important gallery in New York. We specialize in showing Asian artists, in particular Korean artists. You'll see behind me the work of Liu Fan, the prominent Korean painter who's been resident in Japan for the last three decades. But in addition to Liu Fan, the Kukje Gallery shows several other important artists, including Anish Kapoor, as well as Garda Amer. Tina, tell us please a little bit about the work that you've brought to the Armory Show this year. Our booth this year um, showcases our program, exhibition program this year in Korea. And, um, and of course the artists that we represent. We showcase Aaron Young, we showcase Garda Amer. We have artworks by um, Hegu Yang, and we have work by Liu Fan, um, who um, is being awarded by Asia Society. In, um, in Hong Kong this year. I like how your booth mixes generations of artists. Is that something you think about a little bit? When I prepare a booth, it's not, you know, I don't um, think about generations. It's all about how they look good together and how it represents our program. I've seen this table before. Is that a table that travels with you or is that a different that one? That is a table that travels with us. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about that table? That table is a Prouvé table. Um, you know, circa 1950, and I mean, it has a very nice used surface on top, so one of my favorite tables. I would love to take it home, but... <laughs> <laughs> has anybody tried to buy the table? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Here at the Los Angeles Projects booth, I'm struck by this booth uh, because it's a complete installation by the work of a single artist, Ruben Ochoa. Suzanne, this booth seems incredibly striking. Can you tell us a little bit about Ruben's work, about who he is and what he's trying to do with this installation? Ruben's work is interested in, uh, in the history of sculpture and in urban architecture and how very often urban architecture, like concrete walls and chain link fences, uh, demarcate the cultural aspects of the city and, and sometimes divide the city by class. In this case, there, there's a, a strong humorous element uh, in these poles that are kind of poking their heads out of the grass and out of the concrete. The, the idea is, is that these sculptural elements all of a sudden kind of develop a life of their own and do their own thing and break out of that, out of their purpose. Was there a reason that you decided to bring his work this time? We wanted to do a two-person exhibition in the booth, so we wanted to do a much more focused presentation than what we have done in the past. And um, we uh, thought that Patrick Wilson's with very minimal, very uh, kind of clean lines as a painter and Ruben Ochoa with a much more earthy kind of approach that they would make a good pairing. 